Hey y'all, we're going to get right into it. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Hope you had an amazing weekend. We're going to get into some angel messages. Let's see. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay. All right. They, they ain't waste no time. Oh, oh, they got a lot to say. All right. So I'm going I'm to do it like this. Okay. We got let go of guilt. When you allow your light to shine brightly, you inspire others. Forgive yourself for what you think you've done or not done. And trust that God loves you unconditionally for who you are. Learn and grow from past mistakes instead of um, um, berating yourself from them. Yeah, it's time to acknowledge the fact that everything is working out exactly how it's supposed to okay let go of guilt or shame of things from the past don't allow other people to make you feel like that either because yeah detox your friendship slipped out like like all these cards i was only gonna pick two but like a couple of them came out so i'm gonna read all of them or whatever we got detox your friendships your abundance your abundance flow is being affected by the people with whom you're spending time with so be discerning about your associations and relationships. Choose to be with people who are inspiring, gen generous, and supportive. Okay? We got um, face your financial fears. Yeah, that could be why, you know, you haven't been receiving what you, your manifestations because you still got the wrong people around. You got to detox who you are around and discern who you're around and what they mean to you. And if you're elevating, like if your blessings is being stagnant while you're around this person, this is because this is not the person that you're supposed to be around. Face your financial fears. When you are honest with yourself about fears of success or failure, they can no longer control you. Be free of hidden fears by exposing them to the light of awareness. And you'll realize that you, in fact, have nothing to fear. And that every successful person has struggled with with and released these self-doubts. So you ready to face some fears? Alright. Um, <clears throat> successful funding. Alright, so I'm going to um, put one of these up here. And then we got successful funding. Your idea is divinely guided and supported by the same infinite wisdom of God that gave you that idea. Do not allow money concerns to prevent you from turning it into reality. Grow funding partnerships. Grow funding. Crowdfunding partnerships and other investments are available to help you. So somebody is about to go through some type of financial breakthrough. But you're being prepared for it first. Um, certain people are they're not gonna give you the money while you got certain people around. Like if you got moochers around, you got snakes and fakes, people that may try to steal it or just don't deserve to, to have your money. Um, for some of you, this like is different for each person. For some of you, you're needing to let go of certain people that you got around there blocking your blessings. Okay, but you're allowing them to. Um, for some of you. You're needing to let go of the guilt, the feel, the fear, the hurt, like um, the shame about, you know, if you leave these people, like, you know, like, for, for instance, somebody could have may have helped you in the past and you feel obligated to this person. Um, stop feeling guilty and ashamed. Like, you didn't already pay that, that person back as much as you could. You get what I'm saying? And if, you know, people change, people grow, and some people grow apart. So don't allow yourself to feel guilty because you feel like you owe somebody something. Like you feel guilty if you leave somebody or something like that. Sometimes you got to leave home in order to be able to come back and save home. You get what I'm saying? So did some for some of you, this detox is not forever. For some of you, it is. Okay. Um, a lot of you may be actually afraid of the success. Like if it scares you, that's, that's what you... That's the direction you want to go in, okay? You, you want to get out of your comfort zone. So some of you are afraid of the success that's, that's really about to happen for you. Like, because your whole life you've been programmed to stay and, like, 
like if you're middle class you've been programmed to stay in middle class like if you're poor you've been programmed to stay poor like you have to break out of that fear and doubt because the exact thing that you fear you really don't have nothing to fear because we have take divinely guided okay yeah successful funding somebody may even be about to like get some type of loan or something like that or whatever but it's it's going to be successful whatever this is um, also pay yourself like make sure you like focusing on yourself and, and getting yourself where you need to be okay we got take take a divinely guided chance take a divinely guided chance all positive change and success ventures excuse me y'all ventures in, involve a degree of risk and you are ready to follow your divine guidance to new territories as you leave behind that which is comfortable and familiar, but no longer appropriate for you, you make room for new and more meaningful opportunities. I can't make this up, literally. I just said that. And we got employment change. So some of you are about to change career paths, um, start a new business. Um, you know, you could be moving, so you might end up starting a new job, like adding more things to your roster, like... It's going to be different for different people, okay? But Spirit is saying everything that you want is here for you. We're going to pull a few of these real quick. And then we're going to get into some tarot. Or I might just pull one of these because I didn't did all that. Um, <laughs> look, you are safe, Archangel Michael. I am protecting you against lower energies and guarding you, your loved ones, and home. So know that your home is protected and safe. Oh, yeah, like highly protected by high frequency angels. Like you're protected by Archangel Michael. Like Archangel Michael is your protector, okay? You have other legions of angels that are like guarding you. You are heavily guarded right now because they want you to keep your frequency higher, as high as you can, as high as a Mariah Carey note, okay? Or a uh, Minnie Rippleton, okay? They want you to keep your frequency that high okay <laughs> spread your wings it's time for you to fly baby archangel ariel do not hold back right now the timing is perfect and you are ready to soar oh <laughs> and these moon cycles are guiding you and guiding your person yo yo i'm not even gonna lie the angels and the ancestors is really protecting and talking to the divine masculine okay and for some in some cases the divine feminine as well but um Divine Feminine, you need to know that you are safe and protected. But I'm talking about when it comes to taking a leap of faith towards what they want. Because they have some financial fears. Some of these masculines just didn't feel like they had enough um, financially. Um, you know, they could have went through something or lost a job or whatever. But Spirit is trying to let you know that. You know, wherever you at, if you're not getting a new job or things is not moving forward with you financially, it's because you're in the wrong place. And as soon as you take that leap of faith, you mess around, get two, three, four jobs. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's here for you. And Archangel Michael is protecting you at this time, trying to help you to raise your frequency so that you can be successful. Like, everything is going to be successful. Everything that you want, like, is here for you. You just got to, now it's just all about taking a leap of faith. You know what you need to do. Now it's all about doing it. Yeah, somebody's ready to come towards you quickly. Yeah, I'm telling you, the chariot spirit is saying move forward um, in a balanced way. Somebody is also making a decision to come towards you. Um, two of wands with the chariot. Um, seven two two seven can mean something. Seven two seven or whatever. But spirit is saying that now is the time to let go of that guilt. Whatever was holding you back is no longer holding this person back. They are being divinely guided to make a choice. The path is now clear for them. I feel like this person could not see the path or was not making a, the choice to go on a path, even if they did see it, out of fear, guilt. Um, they built something somewhere else, but it was not stable. Um, remember, if you start to become uncomfortable, it's because it's time for you to move. If it was meant for you to be in that place, you'll be comfortable in that place, okay? But you was com comfortable there too long. You were comfortable with the, the discomfort, and that ain't comfortable. So spirit is like, it's time for you to move. It's time for this person to end whatever long-term commitment that they committed themselves to. That is part of the reason why they didn't come towards you. 
they felt guilty about leaving a family situation, a home situation, a marriage or whatever, but it no longer served their highest good. Okay, we got to think of it like a lot of people are looking at this thing from a 3D point and it's saying like, why would you tell them to leave that marriage or their home? We this is not 1960 and this ain't 1980 and this ain't 1990. Okay, if you're not happy in a situation, you don't stay in a situation just because you knew this person for years or y'all been together for 14 years, but y'all don't even, by the time y'all get older, y'all ain't even gonna want to sleep in the same room, same bed, same house. You know what I'm saying? Like that's separation. So what happened is on this spiritual journey, you had to experience the separation in the beginning so that now you get to experience this true love and energy to the rest, for the rest of y'all lives. Y'all, the type this this type of love that's coming in for you, this true love. This is the type of love that you don't never want to sleep in separate beds. I don't care how old you are, you always want to check and make sure your person is okay. This type of love is just too different. You know what I'm saying, and a lot of people in their lifetime will never experience this. Okay, that's why a lot of these dark entities try to keep this from happening. Is because they already made a choice to tap into the darkness so they'll never experience this type of energy so they want to keep everybody else from experiencing it too but you know that ain't happening okay we got the magician in the um world card so whoever been doing magic towards you is being stopped yeah you have friends and family and stuff like that doing magic towards you or on you on you and your person, on your connection. And that's why you need to detox these friendships, family ships, partnerships, because they sinking. You know what I'm saying? A ship is supposed to take you from one place to another, and they got you to where you needed to go. And now it's time to let go and end a lot of these connections so that you can manifest. The reason why a lot of your manifestations are not coming into fruition is because you're needing to end these karmic cycles with karmic people, places, and things. Their purpose in your life has been served. Thank them and let go with light and love. Yeah, there's some some for some of you it's a long term partnership that you've been with this person for a while. For some of you, it's actually family, friends, and stuff like that. But your intuition is telling you which way to go. Spirit is saying you are safe, you are protected. A lot of you are high priestess, but um, I also feel like this is your person as well in this energy of being spiritually enlightened um they've been holding it to themselves they've been keeping it a secret because a lot of people do not understand a lot of people is out for their money um a financial win is here for you though some of you know this though ten of pentacles that's legacy money that's an inheritance that is long-term wealth that is long money okay some of you are manifesting that, but you have a decision to make. You like, you know what I mean? You have to cut off people, place, and things that irritate your soul at this time. If it if it irritates your soul, you just need some space. You need to let it go. Excuse me. For some of you, you just need some space. For some of you, you need to let it go. Like, let go of certain people, cause yeah, and don't regret it though. Cause look, you got a major win here. We got the five of cups. Yeah, five of cups. Somebody feeling depressed or lost or sad or f like, yeah, this is explaining it. Um, face your financial fears because you got some major money coming to you. The will next to the ten of pentacles with the magician. Yeah, you got to come out of that dark energy because it's draining you. Um, your fears and your doubts and all of that is draining you. It need to be transmuted into pure light and love. It need to be balanced. And that is what... Like, spirit is trying to help you um, call on the archangels, call on spirit so that you can know that everything is working out in your favor, okay? Because union is here. Your divine masculine is on their way, all right? Divine masculine, if you're listening to this, anything that you want is, is for you on the other side. Like, this is a major change that's about to happen. You're about to go from just barely making it or struggling to being uh, the emperor, like... This is, you know what I'm saying, giving multiple, um, multi-business owner, multi-millionaire, I just got, um, just somebody who is about to elevate, but 
the whole time you thought that you was afraid of what was on the other side of that leap of faith. And the whole time on the other side of that leap of faith was everything that you always wanted. You left the divine feminine in the past because you were trying to become a better version of yourself but in a lower energy way more in like a superficial way and so your world looked different than how it would look when you was really about to get and receive everything like the people that you were around and stuff like that so you were you know you wanted success and you wanted a certain lifestyle a certain image you know, and stuff like that, and you care too much about what other people think. Now that you're finally shifted from all of that, you experience that, you learn lessons from that, you know, um, now you're about to experience what you really wanted. You ain't even know you need it yet. You were, you know, you wanted to become rich and successful. I'm talking to the divine masculines right now. You wanted to become rich and successful. But yet you weren't ready to do like the spiritual work and stuff like that to receive it. But now these masculines, divine feminine are in that teach me energy, teach me how to love, like show me how to do it. Like, you know, a lot of them were afraid to fall in love with you because they were afraid they weren't going to be faithful. A lot of them, you know, went through childhood abuse and stuff like that, sexually, physically, all types of stuff. So, you know, it made them a very promiscuous person. Some of them were addicted to sex and stuff like that. And they just didn't know. They didn't want to cheat on you. They didn't want to hurt you for real, for real. And I'm talking about those that's really in a divine connection. Okay? Because some people get confused about what I be talking about. You got divine counterparts. And then you got people who has not chose the divine. You got some divine counterparts. That is not in their divinity yet. So they still do dark things. If your person is hitting you, abusing you, that is more than likely just a karmic connection. This is not a divine count connection. Um, some of you, it could just be soulmates, even if it ain't twin flames. You're saying it could be soulmates. Um, you just feel like you've known this person all your life. Like when you met them, it's like you already knew them. You know what I mean? Um, this type of connection is coming into fruition, but somebody is needing to walk away from feeling betrayed or hurt, you know, sadness. Um, your patience is beginning to pay off. Balance is being restored in your connection. You got archangels protecting you from anybody that is trying to hurt you or betray you. It is safe for you to heal and love yourself. And, and it's also safe for you to give this all for a divine masculine. Your divine masculine wants to rush in, but they want to rush into this partnership. Three of um, pentacles with the knight of wands. They had some type of revelation when it comes to you. Ace of swords. They're ready to take steps towards you, towards this new beginning. This is something solid. This is a do-over. They now see things clearly. Okay, they want to bring in, bring this spiritual connection into fruition. There has been a lot of conflict and stuff. They could have been trying to avoid conflict as well. Um, by coming, by choosing you would have caused a lot of conflict in their life with people, places, and things. But these people, if they really truly love you, they'll let you go. And that's what happened with Divine Feminine. When Divine Masculine had to leave, even though that was the hardest thing for Divine Feminine to do, was let you go. You know what I'm saying? They still let you go physically. They had to let you go physically. But spiritually, they still stay connected. And it's just it was about learning how to balance and start to attract and stop chasing and stuff like that. You had to go through that process so that you can know what to do and how to do it. But um, if these people love you, they will let you go and allow you to become the best version of yourself. People who want to misuse you and keep you in a low frequency because they benefit from you in lower frequency... Those are the people that's going to try to make you feel guilty and ashamed from, for becoming your best self, okay? Those are the people that's needing to be detoxed from your life right now, all right? So say a prayer for yourself and your person. Be kind and gentle to yourself and your person. Mind you, your patience is about to pay off. The things that you want is coming into fruition. There has been some type of truth. Whatever, whoever's been lying, it's been something that has been about to come to the light in a long time with somebody that was lying about something 
it's coming into fruition. Um, your ships are docking. All you have to do is be patient and allow it, allow this to happen. Right now, all you have to do is just surrender and go with the flow. And things is going to work out. Whoever this person is that was lying about anything is coming to the light. But this person is also ready to sneak in towards you. <laughs> They're strategizing. They're coming up with some type of plan. They feel like you are a wish fulfillment. You are everything that they want and they dream. They was a little selfish at first, but now this person is viewing you as everything they they want for real for real you know now they're needing to feel worthy somebody is about to communicate with you could be a king of wands but somebody is ready to communicate with you could be an aries we got um cancer out here we got all the signs out here we in virgo season okay shout out to y'all virgos happy birthday to y'all okay <laughs> um yeah archangel michael says you are safe you are loved you are protected all right so say a prayer for yourself and your person be kind and gentle to yourself and your person namaste